Hi, my name is Kevin, and this is my group. I'm Austin. Devin. Scott. Alex. And today we are going to show the correct setup and operation of a total station. So first you want to make sure you have your safety vest. And then you want to get this um, sheet to check out your equipment. You want a total station. Which is this right here. Double checking, making sure the batteries um, are charged. You want a tripod. And you want a prism. Right here. A uh, bipod and range pole. Right here. And then a measuring tape. Okay, I'm going to show you how to correctly set up the tripod. And to start out, you want to loosen up each leg, all three legs. You want to pop that loose and then pull it straight up to about chest height right there and then tighten them all back down. And now you grab two legs like this. So this one's in front of you and you set the front one in a crack of the sidewalk or something sturdy and then pull both of these back towards you and uh, make sure it's you know somewhat eye level and so you're setting it up right above your point and now you want to take your total station and carefully set it on top of your surface and take your screw right here and thread it into the total station so it is secure on the tripod and tighten it up and now what we want to do is level this thing so you start out by looking at the eye level on here and getting it about right okay once you get the manual level in the circle bubble you want to make sure your total station is right above your point and to do that there is a laser that you can use by hitting the instrument button and then electronic level tab which then brings up your electronic level screen and then a red laser that should be pointed right on your point and if it is not you go once you do some fine tuning with your three fine tuning levels right here, all these bubbles will be in the green and then you hit accept. Okay, once everything is level, you want to create your own job in order to save your data by hitting jobs and then new job and then enter your job name which you can enter your point numbers you're on or anything you want and then hit enter and accept okay after your back sight is all set up on your prism and leveled you want to make sure that your total station is focused on the center of your prism so in order to do that you start out by looking at your uh, top gun sight right here and get a general idea of where it's at and then look in your lens and do some fine-tuned focusing by using um, the outer circle and then these side knobs to fine-tune focus it onto your prism. So once it all is focused on your prism, you want to enter in some data to take measurements. So once we are focused on our back sight, we need to enter some information in order to start taking measurements. So on the main menu, hit the measure tab and then do station setup. That brings up the screen where you enter in the given day's pressure and temperature. Once you enter both of those in, you hit accept and then you need to enter in the point name that your total station is set up over. So for this one, it is point 120 that our total station is set up over the top of. And you need to enter in the instrument height, which was measured previously from the crosshairs on your total station all the way down to the surface of your point. And that was 4.81 feet. And double check that your instrument coordinations are 1,000 feet of easting and 1,000 feet of northing 
northing and your elevation is 100 feet. After all that's entered in, you hit enter and then accept. And now you enter your backside information. So our backside, the point name is 99. Enter that in. And then you need to enter the backside height, which was measured when you set it up. And that was 4.51 feet. Also, double check that your method is averaged observations. Once all this is set up, and your total station is focused on your prism, you hit enter and then measure. And now it'll bring this screen up. It'll take six complete observations and then show you your information for your horizontal azimuth, your vertical azimuth, and your standard deviations. Once your total station has finished with its measurements, you will get a screen that pops up your information and you want to write this down in your field book. So write down your horizontal angle, vertical angle, uh, your standard deviations, and you can write down your slope distance. So after it is done, you hit store. Yeah. So after your first observation is done, the screen will prompt you to do phase two, which you want to flip this 180 degrees and then turn this around and now you this is the face two and you want to focus this back on your prism by looking in the lens and fine tuning so once it is um, focused on your backside and this is face two you want to hit measure and it is going to bounce back and forth and take your measurements and then give you your HA, your VA, and your standard deviation of the average observations. And once it gives you your information, you write that down in your field book and then hit accept. It'll say observation stored. And then now the top of the screen says face one and this is observation two of three. So we do the same procedure by flipping this 180 and then flipping this 180 and focusing it back in on your backside. Once that's all focused, you hit measure and do that four more times. So once it is focused on your prism at your backside, you wanna hit measure and then as the total station takes its uh, observations, it'll tell you to please wait and you'll see a screen that'll give you your information that your delta H, your delta V, and your standard deviation. And so once it gives you that, you hit enter. Observation stored. And now we're on phase two. So you spin this around and flip this and then sight it back in on your prism. Okay, once it's sighted in on the prism, and this is phase two, you want to come back to this screen, hit measure. It'll take its um, three observation rounds. It'll give you a next screen that gives you your information to write down in your field book. Hit accept. It stores that information, and then you want to do this another two sets of times. And once you have that, all your information is written down in your field book, and you are ready to set up at another point and have a different backside in order to get your full traverse. To properly break down, make sure it's off. Unscrew from the bottom. Hold the top firmly with the handle. Take with both hands and set it in the case. And then for the tripod breakdown, you want to have a firm grip on it and bring all the legs together and unlock them. And watch your fingers and slowly bring it down to the bottom. Lock each leg and then wrap 
this around the legs so they stay together and then you can carry it away.